Hi, uh, today I'm here to, to help out some of my very good friends who are SMEs, uh, essentially small medium enterprises. Uh, in today's hard, uh, you know, hard pressed times and a slowdown, there's always a liquidity crunch and people are always finding ways of somehow keep their businesses going. So uh, for any uh, SME, uh, there are two broad avenues of funding that he could access relatively quickly. You know, one could be a loan against property and the other one is an unsecured loan, typically what is called a business loan. Now, uh, you know, if I was to cover both these sources of funding uh, in the same place, there are four things, you know, which are common to e e bo both of these items and which any SME should conceivably, conceivably be looking at. First thing is, a, is, of course, the rate of interest, you know. Whether in a loan against property, the rates of interest are typically a little bit lower than they would be against an unsecured business loan. But then the, 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 the item to look at is typically if you're going for a fixed or a variable rate. Uh, a fixed rate is, is an attractive proposition to, to, uh, you know, to initially because you're able to plan your financing and look ahead you know, in a more constructive and concrete fashion. But uh, in today's uh, soft interest rate regime, a variable rate of interest linked to MCLR, or uh, sorry, not MCLR, linked to any external benchmark is probably the best route to follow. Foreclosure charges, because, uh, and also if there is a lock-in period, sometimes you, know, you may uh, end up uh, getting excess funding or excess you know, sudden liquidity after eight months and you discover that there is actually a lock-in period whereby you're paying interest uh, you know, on your loan on one side, you have excess funding on which you're earning a paltry maybe three, four, five percent, you know, you end up uh, losing. So be careful uh, to fully access and understand what the lock-in period and the prepayment of foreclosure rules are with respect to whichever route of funding that you are planning to access. And one thing, you know, life is full of uncertainties. And I would imagine that, uh, an insurance that you must take out. Any SME, you know, has a family, has people, uh, has always got people dependent on him. And if you take out loans, never forget to take out at least an appropriate in insurance covering you for the amount of loan you take. That way you protect your near and dear ones. Another option, the lastly, the point I would leave with you all is to figure out if you are able to convert this into an overdraft type facility whereby when it's more it's more fluid whenever there's excess funding that is available to you it goes against the loan that you've taken in essence you end up paying only against the overdraft or the loan that you've taken for for the period of time that you've taken it over a three year time frame you will be surprised at how low you have how much uh, how much lower the rate of interest has fallen because of the overdraft facility being available against your loan so you know, good luck, uh, you know, uh, even good things never last, bad things don't last. So I'm sure, you know, things will improve for all our SME friends. But in case you need funding, here are the three or four items that I thought I should share with you.